If you've seen the TV show Stranger Things, you'll recognize the Christmas lights that Joyce uses to communicate with her son Will in the Upside Down. I have LEDs, a microcontroller, and a lot of spare time, so I decided to build a replica and let the internet communicate with me. Before I get into what happened, I want to give a brief overview of how I built it. In case you want to build one for yourself and receive messages like Demogorgon Lasagna, Look Outside, and Daddy Voldemort. I used a 5 volt LED strip, making sure it at least had 26 LEDs on it. I then cut it up so it could better fit on my wall and soldered the ends together. I then got a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. In my case, I used an ESP8266. I connected the positive end of the LED strip to the 5 volt supply pin on the microcontroller and ground to ground. I then connected the data wire to a data pin, in my case D0. I wrote some custom code for the device that loads a web page and displays one word at a time. I then flashed that code to the device, cut out some letters, and put the whole thing up on my wall. Finally, I made a web page for people to submit messages. When someone submits a message, it goes in a queue. Every time the microcontroller loads that web page, it pops one of the items off of the queue and displays it to me. With the entire thing built and tested, I created a short video and threw it up on TikTok, not really expecting much. But within five minutes, I had my first message, and then my second, and then the next 10,000. Over the course of three days, it got sent out to about a million people, and thousands submitted messages. A lot of them were, as you can expect, messages from the anonymous internet to be. But a lot of them were really cool and very creative. There was a lot of messages saying, look outside, I'm behind you, I'm in your house, Ryder, I can see you. There were a lot of messages with interesting recipes for food, I would call them, like Demogorgon lasagna. An overwhelming amount of the messages were Black Lives Matter or BLM, which I was really glad to see. And some of them were just straight up weird. One of my favorites was Daddy Voldemort, so much that I actually went out and I bought the website daddyvoldemort.com. That was not a wise investment. Overall, over 14,000 messages were sent. This was a fun project. I had a lot of fun. And getting these messages once in a while now is actually making my day. Except for the ones that say, look out your window, because please stop sending those. I'm getting freaked out. In terms of who I am in the Stranger Things universe, I like to think I have the food cravings of Eleven, but the survival instincts of Barb. If anyone from the Stranger Things writing team is watching, please make Billy and Steve a gay couple so I can win a bet. 